gallon of diesel. All right, the leftist coalition to protect America's health care is putting out these ads to protest plans to cut $100 billion from Medicare and Medicaid. Look at this. Mr. Congressman. Hello. What were you thinking when you came up with this idea to cut over $100 billion from Medicare and Medicaid for hospital care? Yeah, what were you thinking? Did you think we wouldn't notice you suggested cutting funding for hospitals? Bad idea. Ah, really? oh, well, where were the ads when Obamacare cut $500 billion out of Medicare? James Martin from the 60 Plus Association, live with us now from D.C. James, uh, I'm saying that that kind of commercial reminds me of the granny being chucked off the cliff commercial is designed to scare seniors. Well, you represent seniors. That's your organization, 60 plus. What do you say? Stuart, that is fear mongering at its most craven. And I say that because this front group, the Coalition to Protect Healthcare, what a wonderfully sounding name that is. Front group for, in fact, I might ask, what were they thinking at the following groups, the American Hospital Association, the Federation of American Hospitals, and the Catholic Association. They cut a deal with the White House last year to uh, exempt them from the Independent Payment Advisory Board. Now they find out that uh, they may not be exempt from that. They're running scared. But the key question again, Stuart, you hit it right on the head. Where were they last year when they cut over $500 billion out of Medicare? For crying out loud, that is scaring seniors. It's got to stop. Seniors deserve better than that. Okay. Now, you're on the other side of the political fence. Yours is a fairly conservative organization of seniors. What are you telling your members about potential cuts to Medicare? What are you saying to them? Well, there are no potential cuts to Medicare that I know of. The only plan out there right now is Paul Ryan's plan, the budget chairman, who, by the way, protects current seniors. He's trying to... Uh, come f he came forth with a plan, quite honestly, that's going to save Medicare in the future for future retirees. But right away, it's demagogued by the other side. Look, I've got to tell you something, Stuart. We're a nonpartisan group. We give awards to Democrats as well as Republicans. But in this case, the Democrats are demagoguing this issue. It's, it seems like it's an addiction. Every election cycle, they scare old folks in the voting booth with these misleading charges that somebody's going to take away Medicare. It's just not. Look, it, I worked on Capitol Hill when it passed 46 years ago. I worked for a Republican member of Congress. Incidentally, he voted for Medicare. Okay. Um, one last one. Uh, is your organization 60 plus? Is it firmly behind the Ryan plan? Yes, we are. It is a step forward. It is a step to save Medicare for future retirees. It doesn't, it doesn't touch seniors right now. It's 10 years out. It's for those future retirees. And by the way, we're adding 10,000 baby boomers daily to the rolls. And the fact is, the other thing that the other side doesn't want to point out is that Ryan's plan offers a plan that 535 members of Congress are on, the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan. Look, we say if it's good enough for senators, it's good enough for seniors. Jim That's Martin, the road to the future. Jim, I believe they're at the creation, if I'm not mistaken. Jim Martin, thanks very much indeed from the 60-plus organization. Thank you, Jim.